Hello, I'm Cynthia with Localscapes, and in this video, we're going to teach you how to create a base map for your property using Google Maps. To accurately plan landscape projects, you must first get the layout, measurements, and dimensions of your property. Google Maps is a great way to do this because it allows us to not only get those dimensions, but also locate real-world elements such as existing trees without having to go outside and measure anything. To get started, go to maps.google.com, then type in your property address in the search bar in the top left corner. Once you've located the property, zoom in. In the bottom left corner, we can switch between the map view and the satellite view as needed. The map view is the easiest way to measure the property, but satellite view will come in handy when it comes time to measuring the actual house outline as well as the real world elements. For now, we'll start with the map view. The first thing you want to do is print a copy of the map view so that you can write your measurements directly on your map. To do this, right click and it will bring up a submenu where you can select print. Once you've printed a copy of the map, you want to right click on the front right corner of our property and select measure distance from the submenu. This will create a starting point for the measurement. If the starting point isn't exactly where you want it, click on it and drag it around as needed. Once you have the point set, click on the back right corner of the property to create your second point. Now we have our first measurement. At the bottom of the screen, you can see a box that shows the total distance between the two points, but you can also see this total on your map next to your second point. This measurement isn't going to be perfectly accurate as it is just an estimate, so go ahead and round up or down as needed. It's okay if you're off a foot or two in your measurements as it will be easy to adjust later, but be sure to write down each measurement on the printed map as we go along. Now, if you just go to the next point and click, it's going to give you an accumulative measurement, which is not what we want. So make sure that you're measuring each side of the property. Just click and drag the points to where you need them to measure the second side individually. Once you have the points where you need them, you can see the distance at the bottom of the screen or again next to the second point in your measurement. Be sure to write down the measurement of each side as you go through them. If you accidentally clear the measurement points, simply right click and select measure distance again to choose new points. Once you have all of the measurements of each side of your property, right click and in the submenu select clear measurement. The next thing we want to do is measure the actual house. To measure the house, we recommend that you switch to the satellite view because the map view has a very simplified shape of the house and it may not be very accurate. To switch to satellite view, click the box in the bottom left hand corner, then right click and select measure distance. This time, set your first point at the back corner of the house and your second point at the opposite back corner to measure the back side of the house. Continue to measure each side individually and be sure to write down the measurement of each side on your printed base map. Once you've measured each side of the house, the last thing you want to do is determine measurements from the house to the property line or existing elements. If you're measuring from the corner of the house to the property line, it can be tempting to measure from the corner of the house to the corner of the property. The problem with this is that it may not be a straight line and in this program, we really have no way to determine the correct angle. As a result, the best way to determine these measurements accurately is to go straight from the side of the house to the property line at a 90 degree angle and write that measurement down. Then measure from that point to the corner of the property line and write that down. This will ensure that we have accurate measurements and that we are using the correct angles. To measure existing elements such as trees, Set your first point at the center of the tree, then measure from there to the side of the property. You can then measure from that point to the corner of the property and give yourself a pretty good idea of where that tree sits in relation to the rest of the landscape. In the bottom right-hand corner of the map, there is a view rotation setting which may help you see certain areas or elements better if you rotate your view around. If you have too much tree coverage, this technique may not work well for you and you may have to do some measuring by hand but it's still important to ensure you have all your needed measurements on your base map before you start your project. Once you have all of your measurements, you'll need to transfer them to a larger piece of paper so that you have a base map that's large enough to draw on. An easy way to do this is using graph paper and a scale of one square equals one foot. 
This is also a great time to make a few copies in case you want to change your plans later. Remember, every good landscape begins with a plan, and every good plan begins with a base map.